to another episode of Jason Bowman Loves Cars. I'm Jason Bowman, and I love cars. Today I'm going to tell you my story of the Mitsubishi GTO. I called it that as my story of the Mitsubishi GTO slash Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 and Stealth RT Twin Turbo sounded too convoluted. I hope you enjoy it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. One of my best friends, Mike, got a job as a mechanic at a used car lot called TLC when we were in our 20s. The owner of the lot bought lots of interesting cars, many of them were sport and luxury models. He would buy red light as is cars from the auction and have my friend Mike fix them to sell. One day, a practically new stealth RT twin turbo was dropped off at the lot. My friends and I being car geeks were enamored by it. The story is somewhat foggy being a 23 year old story at this point, but here's the gist. The previous owner tried to do a burnout and snap the output shaft. Presumably, the owner of the car lot bought the car for a song at auction. The cost of a new transfer case at the time was $4,000. In our 20-year-old minds, this was the equivalent of $1, $1 million. million. The owner of the car lot was savvy, and he had a local machine shop make a new output shaft from scratch for around $500. The shaft was installed, and the Stealth was fixed and sold. Like the majority of people, the high cost of the Stealth and the 3000 GT VR4 plus the high cost of maintenance soured my opinion of the car. Fast forward 23 years and a Stealth RT Twin Turbo and a 3000 GT VR4 have become quite the bargain. The $29,595 Stealth Supercar has become a sub $10,000 used car, and that $4,000 transfer case has become a $300 good used part. I think it might be time to reevaluate the Mitsubishi GTO. Mom, can I have a Japanese supercar? No, we have Japanese supercars at home. You know, Mom was right all along. The Mitsubishi HSR and the Mitsubishi HSX concept were well received at the 1989 Tokyo Motor Show. Mitsubishi launched a new GTO in hopes of having a rival for the Nissan 300ZX, Toyota Supra, Mazda Cosmos, and the Subaru SVX. In Japan, the car was called the GTO after the all-singing, all-dancing gallant GTO. Mitsubishi was concerned that car enthusiasts outside of Japan would object to the name on a Japanese car given it was both used on the Pontiac GTO and the Ferrari GTO. The Pontiac GTO was arguably the first American muscle car, which ironically, John DeLorean, yes, that John DeLorean, named after the legendary Ferrari 250 GTO. John DeLorean was well known for having balls the size of coconuts, so it's not that surprising. GTO is originally an acronym for Gran Turismo Homologada, which means complied with motorsport homologation regulations. The Mitsubishi GTO was highly advanced for the time, being one of the first production cars to employ active aerodynamics in the form of automatically adjusting front and rear spoilers. The active aero system could change the angle of the rear wing by 15 degrees and drop the front spoiler by just over 3 inches when the car was traveling over 45 miles per hour. These changes helped increase downforce at the rear and reduce airflow from under the vehicle. The sister car, the Dodge Stealth, was designed by Tom Gale. It was based on the Intrepid concept car. The Stealth retained its flashy show car looks and slippery 0.33 coefficient of drag besting the Ferrari F40. Other technological advancements included four-wheel steering. At speeds of above 35 miles per hour, the rear steer provided 1.5 degrees of deflection in line with the direction of the fronts, which helped improve stability when changing lanes or carving corners at speed. The suspension system was also highly technologically advanced, featuring ECS. ECS stood for Electronically Controlled Suspension System. The system allowed dampening variation based on inputs such as vehicle speed, acceleration, braking, as well as G-forces. Not only did the system collect road surface information, but it also used driver input of both brake and throttle pedals to make dampening decisions. The exhaust system featured two modes, Tour and Sport. In Tour mode, the system would route exhaust gases through the main muffler to make the exhaust quieter. This would reduce performance slightly. In Sport mode, the exhaust gases flowed more freely, creating lower back pressure, a louder exhaust note, and increased performance. Performance. The technical tour de force did not stop there, it also had full-time four-wheel drive. The all-wheel drive cars used a system with a center viscous coupler unit differential sending torque to the front and rear limited slip differentials. Under normal drill. Under normal driving situations, the all-wheel drive system sends 45% of the available power to the front and 55% to the rear. Up to 95% can be sent to either axle in extreme driving situations. In 1993, Mitsubishi introduced the GTO Spider and the VR4 Spider with retractable hardtop. American Sunroof Corporation, ASC, converted the coupes to convertibles in California. The GTO Spider and the VR4 Spider were the first fully automatic retractable hardtop cars marketed since the 1959 Ford Skyliner. 
The Mitsubishi GTO, Mitsubishi 3000 GT, and the Dodge Stealth were produced at Mitsubishi's plant in Nagoya, Japan. It is estimated a little more than 180,000 of the three models combined left dealer showrooms between 1990 and 2001. The GTO 3000 GT and Stealth enjoyed great sales success during the early 90s. The trio sold more cars than the Toyota Supra, Mazda RX-7, and Nissan 300ZX combined. In Japan, from 1986 to 1991, real estate and stock market prices were greatly inflated. Even though asset prices had visibly collapsed early in 1992, the economy's decline continued for more than a decade. The bursting of the Japanese asset price bubble inflated prices on all Japanese imported cars, and like their competition, sales of the trio also dwindled. The Dodge Stealth commercials were typical 90s, both brash and both. What do you call a car that's fast as 0 to 60 than a Corvette L98 and a Nissan Z? Out corners, a Lotus Esprit has been called the affordable Ferrari by Motor Trend magazine and is the most technologically advanced production sports car on the road. You call it the Dodge Stealth RT Turbo. Choose from four Stealth models, one starting at 17246. Only at your Dodge dealer. Welcome home, America. Mitsubishi 3000 GT commercials were somewhat classic. created a vehicle that accelerates, steers, and stops with all fours. That ingenious concept has now been engineered into a car. Introducing the Mitsubishi 3000 GT. With all-wheel drive, all-wheel steering, all-wheel anti-lock brakes, and 300 horsepower instead of just one. Mitsubishi, the word is getting around. Both the Stealth and the 3000 GT appeared in many period movies. Interior. Our trio had a luxurious driver-centric cockpit. Period reviews were positive, save for the universal hatred of the electronic climate control. Engines. The Cyclone 6G7 series engine was used in an absurd amount of vehicles. Before this project, I had no idea the scope of this engine. Variants are still powering cars to this day. There were three versions of the 3-liter V6 6G72 engines used in our trio. I'm going to focus on the highest performance variant, the 3-liter dual overhead cam twin turbo. North American models between 1990 and 1993 had 300 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 300 foot-pounds of torque at 2,500 RPM. In Japan, from 1989 to 2005, there was a gentleman's agreement that advertised horsepower was not to exceed 276 horsepower. Many Japanese cars in this period had restrictors that were easily disabled by the car's owner. Our trio is no exception. A restrictor in the wastegate solenoid could easily be removed, which increased the turbo boost from 8.7 PSI to the 94 and up 10 PSI, reaching 320 horsepower levels. North American models between 1997 and 2000 had 320 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 350 foot-pounds of torque at 2,500 RPM. Japanese and North American models used the TD-0409B turbochargers. The European spec model received the higher capacity TD-0-4-13G turbochargers. Power output wasn't any higher, but they had lower discharge temperatures to better handle prolonged high speeds while on the Autobahn. Transmissions 1990 to 1993 models were 5 speed and 94 and up cars used a 6 speed. Transfer cases. Early cars used an 18 spline transfer case. Partway through 1992, they were upgraded to 25 spline cases. The transfer case is a known weak spot on these cars. The aftermarket has come to the rescue with billet aluminum replacement units. Stock performance. MotorWeek recorded a 0 to 60 time of 6 seconds and a quarter mile time of 14.5 at 98 miles per hour for the 1991 cars. MotorWeek recorded 0 to 60 times of 4.9 and quarter mile times of 13.5 at 103 miles per hour for the 1994 cars. Aftermarket performance. Our trio were 90s Japanese tuner cars, so the aftermarket parts are plentiful. Exhaust systems, air intakes, turbo and intercooler upgrades galore. With supporting mods and a simple turbo upgrade, it's possible to run 10 second quarter mile times. <laughs> Slow in the air in 
Wow, that 3000 GT VR4 took that Supra to Gapplebee's racing. Our trio are very popular cars to drag race. Drifting. I found an instance of a 3000 GT VR4 being used as a drift car. Being all-wheel drive, rally racing comes naturally. The trio is also commonly used for autocrossing. The 3000 GT VR4 also does very well at spectator drags. The Mitsubishi GTO compared favorably to its rivals. In this match, it beats a Supra, an NSX, and an RX-7. Our trio are also amazingly comfortable cruisers. With the suspension and touring mode, they just soak up the bumps and eat up the miles. Holy crap, another jackalope sighting! Run. Buying a Mitsubishi GTO. These cars have a lot of cool gadgets. Make sure they all work or use them as bargaining chips to get a better price. On pre-1996 models, the active aero spoilers on the front and the back of the 3000 GT BR4 and the GTO often break. The Stealth did not have either. The active suspension system was prone to getting stuck in one setting, so ensure the dampeners are working correctly in both settings. The four-wheel steering systems were problematic and known to fail. The variable tone exhaust system flap is also a common failure point. Ensure it is functioning correctly. None of these issues spell certain doom. You could simply fix the issues or live without them. There are kits to eliminate the four-wheel steering. You could also replace the suspension with modern coilovers. Ticking lifters are common, but generally not life-threatening. If it annoys you, consider something as easy as an oil additive, to a slightly more involved removing and cleaning, or finally escalating to replacing them altogether with units from a 1999 to 2001 model. Rust. The tin worm must sit this one out. For my research, rust is typically not an issue with these cars. Being a 30-year-old car, finding a rusty one is certainly possible, so inspect a prospective car thoroughly. Experts agree the time to buy the Trio is now. The prices for these cars are sharply on the rise. Haggerty claims the average price of a 1993 3000 GT VR4 to be $20,400, and the mechanically identical Stealth average price is $13,600. Whatever you choose, choose quickly before these cars become unobtainium. Like the mid 90s Supra Skyline NSX and 300 ZX. <laughs> Thanks for watching my story of the Mitsubishi GTO. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Hopefully, see you next time. What down, Dave?